All right, I've pressed the little button. I think we're live. If you are watching this live, please let me know uh, if you can hear and see me okay. Chat has broken again. Not again. Always breaking. One day it works. The next day it doesn't work. Hopefully it will come back. And the name of the game is wrong at the bottom. Apologies for that. Let's just get rid of that. There you go. This is live unboxing video. You can tell it's live because I get, get all the technical stuff wrong. Um, Mikado did Lisboa. This is the new game. I'm not going to say from Vital Lacerda and Evil Good Griffin Games because it isn't. It's actually Vital Lacerda and Julian Pombo. Julian is in the chat. I don't actually know how much of the design was each. So Julian, you can let us know in the chat while Vital's not watching. Um, how much of this was you and how much was Vital? Was it 50-50 or, or not? Let me know. Um, this is going to be an unboxing video and this is going to be one of the unboxing videos where I can't tell you very much about the game because I don't actually know much about this apart from it is a short game but it is very thinky for a short game um 99 mine julian says right <laughs> vittles just stuck his name on there yeah i know how it is <laughs> um yeah so yeah i've not played the game i know a lot of people have done videos for it using advanced copies i've not read the rule book not played it this is going to be added to my list of games that i want to play soon so this is Fresh produce and fine dining in the beautiful outdoor. Uh, right, okay. So fast paced, easy to learn rules, deep tactical choices. We will see. Now it does use, it, it is loosely based on the building system in Lisboa. That is the bit that I do know. Um, and we will find out, we will find out. So yes, this is, this is the final copy. Okay, this is a final production copy of the game. Uh, I believe other people are going to be getting it soon. I believe so. I don't know exactly when. If anybody in the chat knows when other people are getting it, then let me know. Okay. Smell is not too strong. Yes, I am smelling the game. Right. So we have a catalogue from Eagle Griffin. It's actually the 2018-2019 catalogue. Highlights of the catalogue. Okay. There we go. Um, there are Newer games are available. We have the rule book. I'm going to take stuff out first. It's quite bright, actually, isn't it? I'm just going to drop the brightness down a little bit. There we go. That's a bit better. Right. Okay. Um, so yeah, rule book. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And we have now. I'm surprised these have stayed like this, but they have. So through transportation, these have stayed like this because these aren't on a punch board or anything. Player screens. I'll take the stuff out first, and then we'll have a look at it. We have one. Oh, how many punch boards have we got? We've got one, two, three, three punch boards. Uh, and then we have the actual board, which we'll get out in a minute. We have one of Eagle Griffin's trays. This is designed to hold all the components. Uh, we have a nice bag. Very nice. Um, we've got this. Uh, Vital is saying, hi everybody flip them i'm not sure what to flip them flip the, these yeah I'll, I'll i'll have a look in a minute right so that's all the components let's move that to one side and let's look at the board first because that's the bit you're going to be seeing a lot of during the game okay so we have the nice signatures on the back this is something that uh is quite common in in vittles game so yeah we have a signature from julian and from vittle on the back of the board uh and here is the board there you go so in terms of size, this is physically smaller than a lot of Vittles uh, big box games, um, but it all looks fairly clear. Right. OK, so, yeah, let's have a look at these these player screens. So these are a nice thickness. OK, now, sometimes you get with games like this, you get thin, like just card. These are actually cardstock. So these are, yeah, these, these are quite firm, good thickness on these. Uh, it looks like we have a player aid on the back which looks fairly clear. Uh, Vittel's not even got it yet. Right, okay. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a player aid on the back of the these four, which would be useful. Uh, let's do Paul's punch test. Oh, we've lost a bit already. There we go. So that's there. Um, right, so yeah, Paul's punch test. Oh, yeah, they're, they're clear. They're, they're coming out. In fact, if we wobble it, <laughs> yes, losing a few bits. Right, so they're punching out okay. They seem to be punching out quite cleanly. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put the whole thing away, but I am just going to put these 
where I think they should go. So these are the numbers they go on there. What's nice is they've actually got, you can see here, one, two, three, and four. So these will go in there like so. Of course, the real test of a box insert like this is when I pick it up and jiggle it around, how many of the bits fall out. Uh, these, I'm not sure where these go, probably in here. Looks like they sort of fit in there. Uh, if not, they might go in the bag. I'm not sure. Anyway, right, so we've got one. Oh, it's just punch the money out. Okay. Round tiles don't tend to punch out just by doing that, but they're fine. They're coming out. Okay. So let's have a look at the money. Uh, different sizes, different colors for each of the different denominations. So that's good. Right. Anything special on these other punch boards? Nope. Similar stuff. So yeah, yeah, three punch boards full of stuff, so plenty of cardboard there. And wooden pieces. Let's zoom in and have a look at these wooden pieces then. So these are in the player boards. And these appear to be different. Yes, okay, so what they've done is they've actually got custom shaped pieces for the four different player colours. If you can see that, you can just, hopefully you can see, I mean the blue ones are noticeably different because they're, they're completely curved, but it's a slightly different design for each of these. Let's see if I can get in. Now, are these wood? I think they're wood. Yeah, these are wood. Yeah, these are wooden pieces. Okay. So yeah, we've got some wooden pieces as well, and let's have a quick look at the rules. So I wasn't involved in this rulebook at all. I will be learning how to play this game from the rulebook, uh, like many people. I will be doing a video on this game. I don't know when. Uh, I'm not doing like a, you know, one of my sponsored how to plays or anything like that. Um, I might even do one of my learn how to play the game from the rulebook because it is one to four players. So if I don't get this game covered this year, and based on where we are currently in December, this might be a January game. Uh, and it might be one of the videos where I do, uh, where I just get it out and start learning how to play the game from the rulebook. But in terms of the size of the rulebook, we have a rule sheet. But Tilly said I can do it now in 10 minutes. I could. I think it might take me longer than 10 minutes to read this rulebook. Um, but yeah, basically, we have the introduction and the setup here. We then have three pages of rules here. And that's it. And in fact, that last column is just final scoring. Um, and then on the back, we have the solo challenges. So this is the solo game, and it looks like there are nine different challenges. Oh, interesting. One of them's called a pub crawl. Cool. Right, so yes, rules look to be relatively simple. Uh, and what you'll be doing is you'll be placing these tiles, it looks like, from the images on these spaces here. Um, yeah, I don't know much about it. We will find out. I'm wondering what these do. I think these just get placed on them like that. According to the pictures, they just get placed on them like that. Um, so yeah, there we go. That is a very quick unboxing. Now, Vitaly's in the chat, Julian's in the chat, so if you've got any questions for them, now is the time to ask them. But did, did we get an answer? <laughs> Vital saying, you can also do simple. Yeah, you can do simple, but uh, Julian is claiming 99% of the uh, design credit on this game uh, <laughs> while, while you weren't here. Um, so, yes, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, does anybody, has, have we got an answer in the chat for when uh, other people are likely to be able to get this game? Because uh, that's something that I would like to know. Um, while we're doing that, while we're chatting, I'm actually going to just punch out the rest of these things. Uh, yeah, Vittle needed a partner to do simple. So, I mean, yeah, it looks like we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I mean, it says 30 to 45 minutes to play. So I reckon me learning how to play um, and then doing a solo playthrough is probably going to be about an hour and 15 minutes would be my guess. Maybe a little bit longer because I do take my time in learning. Um, so G is the bag. Let me have a look to see what goes in the bag. Yeah, because I'm not sure these do go in here. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know what goes in here, though. Hmm. Maybe the player pieces go in there. Kickstarter should delivery should be June 2020. You mean 2021? 
No, it should be more. It should be before that. I think these go in here. Surely it's got to be delivered before June 2021. Because if I've got this copy now, I can't have this six months ahead of time, surely. Do they go in there? I'm just putting things randomly where I think they should go. But I think, I think those go in there. Uh, so Mark is looking forward to it. <laughs> and Vittel saying it's less. Yeah, but I do take my time reading through rule books. And you know me, I can't read through a rule book without my, my editing brain going off. But no, it, lo it looks fairly clear. We'll find out. The proof is when I actually come to sit down and start learning how to play. Uh, and then we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I mean, although it's three pages, there's a lot of images and the text isn't small. So you're absolutely right. This, this is not going to take long to do. Uh, last update does not indicate a date. Okay. Yeah, they may have added some buffer in case of unexpected delays. Yeah, I mean, I did, um, I did speak to them and they said, Paul, we, we, we will get you one. I didn't ask for super special treatment. So um, yeah, I don't know. And I don't know when it's going to be available in retail. Scott is saying he's got, it's a very easy game to learn. Okay, that's good. Um, Vittel handmade this copy for me, did he now? He's done that before with a few prototypes, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, we've done that before. Right, I'm just going to finish putting these away. I'm not going to put the whole thing away because I need to go back to the, uh, uh, the shop to sort out a delivery that I made earlier on where the label machine didn't work. Uh, oh, Alex has a question for the designers. How come it was deemed important to hide players' money behind player screens? Good question. Uh, because that's one of those things, isn't it? If it's, if it's trackable information, but it's, it's hidden, then how does that work? Because some people can actually track it. Now, where's this money going to go? Is this money going to go in the back? Uh, it is a final copy. I definitely got the first copy. Did I? What's the box size? The box size is this. Now, in order to compare this, I'm just going to pop the microphone down and I'm going to get another game to compare it to. Right. I will compare it to Ginkopolis, which is in a standard Euro size box. And it is, it is that size. It's exactly that size. It is a little bit narrower, um, but it's exactly the same size as a standard Euro game box. I'll be doing an unboxing of this one on Thursday, by the way. So if you're interested in seeing an unboxing of the new Ginkgopolis, that will be on Thursday. Uh, so Julian is saying that, um, it, oh, Julian and Vistler are saying that it is important to keep the money secret behind the screen because it's one of the end game triggers and keeping it in front dramatically changes the game. So the question is, uh, is it Agricola standard size? Yes, yeah, standard Euro game size. It is not Red Cathedral box size. No, Red Cathedral is in the hallway. But Red Cathedral is a much smaller box. This is, this is, yeah, standard Euro size box. Where's my money going? Is the money going in the bag? I, I'm not sure whether these tiles should actually go here or not. They sort of fit, but they're a little tight. They're tight to the point where I don't know whether they should fit in there or not. If anybody knows, let me know. But everything else seems to... Okay, so all the red ones go there. I am going to end up putting all of this away, aren't I? Money is victory points, not end game condition. Okay, right. Yeah, so the money, I, I don't know, maybe the money should go in the bag. It seems like that, that I've got the bag and I've got these, unless the money goes in there and these go in the bag. Let me have a look at setup to see what it says about the bag. Uh, place all of the stand tiles in the bag. Yeah, so these stand tiles, they go in the bag. So maybe the money goes in here. I'm probably going to put the money in a Ziploc bag, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not going to be having it loose like that. Oh, please put under the used insert. Right, now this is a, this is a thing. If some, of, if some of you watching don't know this, this is one of the little tricks that was known about uh, with these inserts. So one of the problems with inserts like this 
is that if it doesn't sit flush with the top of the box, when you turn it sideways, all of the bits fall out. And what people started to do is they started to take the used punch boards and put them underneath. And it actually says on here, please put used punch board under insert. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop them out and show you what this means. So you basically, you take out this insert. Did they send me a piece of cake? No, they didn't. Very disappointing. Might write and complain about that. Right, so that goes there. And you do this with the other ones. And what it does is it raises the height of the insert so that it will then sit flush with the top of the box. And then when you put everything in, everything, everything is secure. So then it can tip sideways uh, and then it won't, it won't open up. Uh, I won't do that now because I've still got two other punch boards uh, to fit in. But yeah, basically we are all done, I think. So I've got these two to finish punching. Do a bit of a reboxing. Oh, I missed one. That goes there. That goes there. We are all done for now. And as I say, at some point, probably not this year, um, but at some point in January, I will be doing a video for this game. Uh, it will just be a me probably learning how to play and then playing the solo game at some point in January. So yeah, watch this space for that. Um, Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to all of my patron supporters that helped fund the channel. This is obviously not a sponsored video. Um, so yeah, it's all down to the, my patron supporters. Uh, if you like the content that I make and you are in a position to be able to help support the show, then the link is down in the bottom right, patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Uh, I will be back um, Thursday with another unboxing at five o'clock. I'll be doing Ginkopolis. Uh, and then I'm, I've got a playthrough of Kingdom Rush on Friday night with uh, Isaac Childress. So that's happening on Friday. If, however, you are stuck for something to do in about 40 minutes time, a good friend of mine, Russell Chapman from uh, For Chits and Giggles, he's going live on Twitch at 6 p.m. GMT tonight, uh, playing through the Maracaibo solo game. Uh, I'm going to be covering Maracaibo myself in January, the solo game, but if you want to see Russell playing it, my microphone's just fallen off. Um, if you want to see Russell playing it, he'll be going live, yeah, in about 40 minutes. Um, yeah, on his channel. So that's on Twitch and it's uh, for chits and giggles. So check that out. Other than that, yeah, I'm going to get off to the post office, get some dinner uh, and then do some more videoing. Thank you very much for watching. Speak to you later. Take care. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.